Hey G Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is in Warfin. So for today's episode, we got this cool I'm in front of here. And basically what this is, is a portable hard drive. If you can see the one that we got right here is from the WD brand, which is Western Digital. And the one that we got right here is a five terabyte. And it's called My Passport Ultra. So this one right here is a little bit different than the other one that they have previously, which is My Passport. So if you guys are curious about what I mean, I'm talking about this one right here. So this one right here is like the older edition. They do have like a brand new one that's basically My Passport that looks like this one right here but not ultra. It basically has the same design, this one right here, but it doesn't have the like, ultra functionality that's on here. And basically for this hard drive, it comes in many different storage size. The one that I got right here is five terabyte. The one that I got right here is four terabyte. They do have this available in like one terabyte, two terabyte, three terabyte, and the list goes on. But basically I actually have a bunch of these already. I think this one right here is probably like my third one already. And then this one right here is my first one. And basically one of the main difference about this brand new one right here compared to the other one is the cable that they use on here. Let me actually open this up to show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so when you guys first take it out, this is basically what it looks right here. If you can see it's definitely very small, but let's take it out. So first thing we see inside right here, they provide guys a user manual to teach you guys how to use the product and also how to set up as well. And then right here, we have the actual product. So let's take off the wrapper first. Once we take off the wrapper, you guys can see that this is basically what the product looks right here. So they do have the brand logo right here. And if you guys turn this way, you can definitely see that they do have a USB-C output right here. And that is basically where you guys actually plug in the cable to actually transfer the file onto your computer because this one right here is designed for Mac. And right here, we do have the indicator light. And if you see the back part right here, they do have like the non slip material in the bottom as well. So that way the product won't keep on moving around when you guys are transferring files. And if you see right here, they mentioned that it is the My Passport Ultra for Mac. But definitely when you guys feel the overall weight of the product here, it definitely feels pretty lightweight. But basically in the bottom right here, if you see they probably got some cables. So we have to take it out. This is basically the cable that they provide for you guys right here. If you can see they probably got an adapter. So if you guys want to use a USB option, you can definitely plug it onto the USB-C option right here. If you only want to use a USB-C option, then you guys are fine. But that'd be really cool how to give you guys that option if you guys want to use it. So that is basically everything that's included for the brand new one right here, which is the My Passport Ultra. Let me show you what the old one looks like. All right. So right here, we have the old one. So this right here is My Passport from the WD brand. And when you guys turn on start right here, that is basically the output of the cable you guys want to plug in right here, which is definitely different than the brand new one right here. So you see right here is basically the cable you guys want to use for the older version of the My Passport. So you definitely need to use like adapter if you guys are planning to use it for your MacBook Pro. Compared to the new one, you don't have to worry about that. You can definitely just plug in like the USB-C option or USB-C cable. So when I put this side by side, you can definitely see what the part looks right here. So the My Passport Ultra is basically the USB-C option right here, and this is the other cable right here. And definitely when you guys put it side by side, you can definitely see that the old one is actually much more bulkier compared to the new one. But when you guys compare the side this way, it's basically the same size or same length. But definitely for the older one here, it actually feels a lot more bulkier or heavier. Compared to the new one that we got right here, it actually feels a lot more lighter. And it definitely feels a lot more smoother as well compared to the old one. But definitely for both of these products here, whether you get the brand new one or the old one, it definitely have a password protection option on here if you guys want to encrypt the file on here. And also when you guys use the brand new one right here, which is the My Passport Ultra, it's supposed to be a little bit faster in terms of the transfer speed on here compared to the old one as well. But that is basically everything that's on the bar right here. Let me actually do a quick test to show you guys what the product looks like and how fast I should transfer files on here first. And I will come back and talk more product in a second. So on this side, if you can see, we have the My Passport right here. This is the older version from the WD brand. Where for this one right here is a brand new one, which is the My Passport Ultra. That's for the MacBook device. If you can see right here, we actually plug it in. There is a blue light that pops on. So that is how you guys know that's connected. And right here, we do have the SanDisk SD card. So I'm basically gonna transfer the files from here to both of these device to show you guys how fast it can transfer. So basically the one on the bottom right here is the My Passport Ultra. And then the one on top is the older version of the My Passport. So it transfer the files over to show you guys how fast it is compared to both of them right here. All right, so we'll start with the bottom one first. So we're basically transferring around like almost 10 gigabytes of files on here. All right, so it's been about one minute. It's about halfway done already. All right, so it took around one minute and 46 seconds to transfer to the brand new My Passport Ultra for the Mac. Now let's test it out on the older version and see how fast that one is as well. So you see it's almost been like one minute already and it's not even halfway yet. So right off the bat right now, you can definitely see that the brand new one is much faster than the older version. So if you guys want like the fastest transfer speed on here, you definitely want to get the brand new one, which is the My Passport Ultra. But I'm just let this finish to see how long it takes. All 
All right, so it took roughly around four minutes and 36 seconds to transfer it from the SD card to the old My Passport. So definitely a really long time. That's like three minutes more than the My Passport Ultra, which is definitely really slow. So obviously we can see who is the winner of this competition on here. Obviously the My Passport Ultra works a lot better in terms of transferring files. And right, welcome back guys. So next up, test upon definitely see that she does work and she works quite well. So regardless of where you guys get the new one or the old one, they both work really well. But definitely what I really like about the brand new one right here is the fact that it actually has like the USB-C option. So that way it actually makes it a lot easier for me to transfer the files onto my brand new MacBook Pro. So the brand new MacBook Pro actually brought back the SD card inside. I don't need to use the adapter that I saw in the video. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Not a good unboxing and test the product. Not to answer the question of whether or not that should work or not. So for this part right here, I would definitely have to say that it is pretty worth it. Especially trying to look for a high quality portable hard drive that you guys can actually transfer all your files over to actually keep all your files organized and that way you guys know where everything is. Especially if the storage on your laptop or whatever is actually all full. That's where one of these actually comes in handy. So I definitely would have to say that these are worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't even want or have one of these, they obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else that should be doing. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.